Hey everybody, it's Inspired Joe Min, and today we're going to be working on a very easy and efficient, but yet clean and chic purse. Of course, I'm talking about the bunny purse, but don't worry, it will go with your fashion and won't clash, and you'll be able to make this in no time. So, let's get started! So for starters, I got this purse at Goodwill about a year ago, and I was going to start on the DIY of it, but I never really got around to it. But this is a great time to finish it up just to show you guys what it looked like before. It was very dark colored so using the layers of either a spray can or acrylic paint it's going to be more than two or three to just be honest with you. But it shouldn't be that hard after I get it done and show you every detail of how I painted it. To start off I'm going to use three colors to help me actually make the color of this purse stand out. I'm going to use white, my pink acrylic paint, and also my purple acrylic paint. To start off, I'm just going to touch up the back of the purse with my pink acrylic paint using my foam brush. The reason why I'm using the foam brush is to help spread the even layers between water and paint for each layer. As a recommendation, I would probably say using a blow dryer between each layer of painting would actually help the process of this go faster instead of waiting until it air dries. And then when you finish your blow drying on the outside, you want to start on your inside. And I use my warm white paint to do each layer. And I mixed it with water so I can even out the water in the paint so I wouldn't use too much paint and so it wouldn't take forever to dry. So to do the front pocket, I first stuffed in my purse with some clothes to keep the structure of it while I'm painting, and then I used my lavender and white paint to put together to make a pastel purple. And I'm just going to put the actual paint onto the pocket so that I can mix it in during each layer. And using your blow dryer does help dry this off faster between the coats, so it gets it done within a quicker time lapse. Now don't worry about the buckle, you can actually clean that off with a water and rag before you actually gloss over the paint with your spray can. Okay, now that the paint is done, let's get started on the finishing. So the finishing consists of a spray can that has a finishing gloss on it that I'm going to spray over this. And once I've done spraying it, I'm going to wait after a day because you don't want to inhale the chemicals. And once that's dried up, now you can start on the next step, which is the design. So what I did was I was a little impatient and I decided to use the puff of paint instead of just drawing it on with pencil. I personally would recommend you drawing it on with pencil first before doing this because if you make a mistake, girl, you cannot go back. Once you have let the puffy paint dry and complete its air drying, I'm going to use my warm white paint, acrylic paint, to actually color in the bunny. You can actually use this as an option, but I just wanted to color him in to bring him out just a little bit more. So I'm also using my puffy paint for the eyes and the nose and I'm using this really skinny paintbrush to help me out make the little mouth and the nose of the bunny because the paint was kind of really hard to do the small details on. 
So, and I used the same technique from my Rila Kuma video for the eyes as I did for the bunny on this one. If you haven't seen that video, you should definitely go check it out right now. After the little eye details, I'm just going to color in some cute little hearts in black so it looks like some really cute drawing that you would find on your composition notebook. Maybe a little, it was when you were little or something. Something really cute and kawaii that just sticks out. And you could do this in other colors, but I decided to do it in black because it brings out the little bunny more. Alright ladies and gentlemen, and that concludes our DIY bunny purse tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness, and don't forget it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this, and let me know if you have any requests, leave it down below and I will check that out. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys later. Bye!